Hey, welcome back to Bilar. We have an X-Men Wolverine 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. So I found it at Ross for cheap. It's got a Wolverine figure. And then the car there. Jada. X-Men. So I got it for 15 bucks. Marked down for 25 uh, Looks like everything's in good condition. I just have a screwdriver thing. We're just going to unbox it though. I may not worry about unscrewing it because I have a screwdriver handy. Being very cooperative here. So, because it's taped <laughs> on the other side. Hmm. No, I'm not going to keep the box anyway. I'm going to keep this car, so I don't worry about it too much. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, I had a screwdriver up here before. I don't know what happened to it. Pause here, so I'll grab one because I do want to take it out. Let's go wait till it's completely done screwing to record again. But this is really dumb how they put this in here. So he's connected by the bolts to the platform, but to get him out of the package, you have to unscrew the bolts. This is really annoying. I need a screwdriver of that size. It's not, not smaller, that's possible. We really should have gave you a, a tool to do this. See the platform. I'm guessing. There's a hole at so the bottom of his feet there. This microphone's not cooperating. All right. Uh, he puts it back on here, here. Try not to lose the screws. Yeah, that's from this platform. It's also a pain. It's a heavy action figure though. Being die cast, which is nice. Let's take a look at it since we got it out already. It looks pretty good. The X on the belt. But the fact that you have to like reassemble it is stupid. <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I guess you can just set this back on top of here. So maybe. Because these are too big. So they don't, they don't match up. Yeah, way too big. He can't stand on his own, which is fine. I'm not sure how this goes. Back that way. Match it back up. Backwards. 
No, that's right. It's just loose. Yeah, not a fan of this part at all. It's a big gap. Could be doing something wrong. Probably am. I don't see how it's going to secure. Let's see. Yeah, it's not. Any case. Yeah, I don't think that's right. The screws do fit. Um, the footprints here. So you just gotta tighten it up. I don't know. Something's wrong with that to me. Luckily, he stands anyway. So <laughs> back to the car. I hate these. These Jada packaging, you guys are terrible. Like, this is so unnecessary. So I was able to get that one out to get it off the board. This one looks like it's almost wore out or stripped. So I don't know if I can do it this way to loosen it. There, it's out. It's a nice heavy car. Uh, definitely cool looking. I like that dark yellow and blue. My little ring. Stupid tape off. All right. So after this mess of getting all this done, unscrewing all these stupid little screws, it's a big pain. Platform, I'll work on it. Wolverine, they don't fit in the car, but some more just be displayed outside of it. Yeah, let me get rid of this stuff here so it looks better. Of course, they're meant to, you know, display sit on the shelf. Door should open. Look at the interior there. Nice detail in there. Speedometer. Kind of like a unique steering wheel. Seats look good. I do like this paint job. I feel like this might open, maybe not. Okay. It's rear engine. So I got storage up here. Engine on the back. I don't think this opens. No. Okay. The spoiler is kind of flimsy. <laughs> All right, it was a bit of a mess, but thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Stop falling down.